This is today's design. It's a rainbow with some black accents. And the things that you'll need today is um, I'm using from your kit is the black acrylic paint, the white acrylic paint, your yellow, and um, this is a specialty, is a pink and a purple. And then I'm also adding some glitter. And of course, you know, I'm using my favorite nail for life. And then for those that are using um, natural nails, you want to make sure that you balance your pH so that your, um, your nail polish will last. So you want to make sure that you put a bonder on. And the one that I use is the uh, Orly's. Okay, so these are all of our supplies that we need. And um, as far as the brushes go, you'll want your number five. And you'll want your number, what number is this? Mm, it doesn't have a number, but this is your round. It's also in your kit. Okay, so we'll put everything away. Oh, and the other specialty is you'll need some type of a cosmetic brush. Okay, so we'll put everything away. And um, if you drink coffee that has a plastic top, you want to definitely use that. I've already prepped this nail with um, my Nail for Life base coat. And then I put the bonder on top. And this will um, allow my, nut, my nail polish to last. So we're going to go ahead and we'll um, take our colors that we're going to use. And I just have aluminum top because, you know, the acrylic paint doesn't really run. And we'll take our pink. Just because that was the closest to me. But I do want it lined up so that I can, um, in a special way, so that I can put it on the brush. And then the yellow. Okay. And what you'll want to do is take your number five brush in your cosmetic square. You can see this is the one I use for my other nail. And you'll just take and... Uh, got to be careful. Um, you'll just take your purple and make a stripe with it. You don't want it to go into too much, so you kind of just want to dab it like that. I also have a cup of water, just a regular cup with water in it to rinse my brush because we're using acrylics. That's all that's really needed. And next I'll put some on for the pink. and clean my brush and then I'll put some on for the yellow okay and clean my brush you want to make sure you clean your brush right after so nothing gets stuck in there now I'm gonna move this out of the way and then I want the yellow to be on this portion of my nail so I'm gonna just take this and just go straight across and then just dab it straight across and dab it now as you can see my pink didn't come out so I'm gonna take and add a little more pink and um just go over again and it's really up to your taste you know whatever you want okay I still want more pink so I'm going to um, actually blot some on and then blot it with my sponge but I'm what cleaning my brush first and now I'll take the sponge and blot it. 
Okay, so that, that actually serves what I want. A little more yellow down there. Okay, and the good thing about this is because we're using the acrylic paints, we don't have to worry about a long time to dry. And on the other nails, this one here, my accent nail, I pretty much did the same. I used um, the skill that we learned last week of um, painting our, our dot. That's all I did here is I just did a black background using my black acrylic paint. And then I just did the stripes, the dot. Using my dotting tool, that was something I did not show you. Using my dotting tool, I used a small end and, um, to achieve those dots. And so now, let's go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our black paint and um, outline and make our design. You just need a little, because we're just doing the one nail. So I just put just a little dab, you can see. But now we're going to pull out our round brush, and we're going to go around our cuticle. This is a little different. And I think I'm still in frame. Um, however is uh, most comfortable for you. If you want to turn your nail or the brush, whichever is best. For you, whichever is most comfortable. I know on my other hand, my non-dominant hand, I actually bring my hand to the the product. Okay, so now we have our nail outlined. Oh, shoot, I just forgot. I was supposed to put on my glitter. So what we'll have to do is do that uh, later. As you can see, these, I don't know if you can see, they have a little spark. Oh, I put um, the pink glitter on. I just forgot that step. And so now I'm going to take this black and just draw some swirls. No particular, they don't mean anything. Um, I'm just kind of doing my thing. This was a design that was inspired by Tardifrae. She's a French nail artist that has really nice nail art. And that's all I'm gonna do. Now, as you can see, my yellow is a little pale. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, touch it up. But I want to make sure that I stay within the lines because I don't want to have to do the black all over again. So I'm going to make sure that I stay within the line. I didn't have to do this for my other ones. I guess I have my brush was a little um, more saturated, not quite as saturated. And a little more, we can't see any pink. So let's go ahead and bring some pink in here. Okay, I guess that's a little more. How did your day go today? Okay, and now I'm going to put in a little purple. I'm cleaning my brush. You hear me knocking it? I'm going to always make sure you clean your brush. And that could be my little purple. 
Okay, so now since that is wet, I'm going to go ahead and use my glitter. And all these products um, are available at your local beauty supply. And if you're not able to find them, of course, you know, I have them for sale as well. So I'm unloosening my nail for life because we're going to do our top coat shortly. But now this is a glitter. You want to take clear a glitter and just um, actually use it only for glitter. Okay. So you see I have kind of a large little glob there. And I'm just going in here. And now I'm like patting it on. Not really pulling it down because, you know, we just paint it so we don't want to mess up our streaks. So I'm just dabbing it where you want the sparkles. Oh, and I just said not to pull it down, and that's exactly what I did. But I kind of like that. It's almost like a little marble. Some accidents, you know, work out. That's how some of the most greatest inventions were discovered as a result of a accident so now I'm going to try and still give it back that mosaic look and what I'm doing is I'm just tapping my brush because if I draw actually pull on it then I'm just going to spread the paint and we don't want to do that And um, as you can see, I lost my yellow again. I don't know why I can't keep this yellow, ladies. I love yellow. Anybody got some yellow sundresses? So I'm going to put it back. And then what we want to do is uh, let this dry. And then you'll put a top coat on, and you're all set. I'm cleaning my brush, as you can hear. Now, as far as the dotting tool goes, that yellow is still, I want a little more pronounced. So I'm just going to take and make a few yellow dots, just right up here. And like I said, you know, you're the artist, so it's really all up to you, whatever you decide to do. That's what I decided to do. What would you do? I want you to do it and show me. Okay, and of course, you know, my trademark now, ladies, and I'm happy to see it's catching on. Is after you do your design, you want to definitely put a ring on it. So my ring here is not quite complete. But this will be the ring that I'll wear, and this will be the completed look. So I hope you enjoyed this. As you can see, you can do it on short nails or long nails. You can do this design just on a French. You can do pretty much whatever you like because you are the artist. So thanks so much for watching. God bless you. You matter.